Okay guys, so the first step, the first thing that I actually did, I actually got my two pots that I'll need for this. One would be for my pad, which is my sugar syrup, and the other one would be for my cream of wheat. Today I am making cream of wheat parsan because that's my favorite parsan. So get your two pots, put them on the stove, and now I'm going to show you what, how I'm going to prepare all my other ingredients. Okay, so I have all my ingredients measured out and prepared for me right here. And now I'm going to start making my person. I measured out all my ingredients and now the first thing I'm going to do is light my stove for my pad mixture. For my syrup. Keep it on very low heat. Very low flame. I'm going to put my pot there. Next, I'm going to add my water. This is 5 cups of water. Next, I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar, white granulated sugar. Give it a stir. And you're just going to leave this to simmer on a low flame while we prepare our cream of wheat. So while my pug is simmering here, I am going to prepare my pot for my cream of wheat. So again on a low flame, you're going to put your pot and then I'm going to add my ghee to my pot and let it melt. This is one cup of ghee. Once your ghee um, is melted, you can now add your four cups of cream of wheat. Make sure that you combine this really well. So guys, I do not like oily parsan at all. I don't like it at all. So one thing I can guarantee about this recipe is that your parsat is not going to be oily. But if you do like that kind of texture, then you can add more ghee. You can add one and a half cups or up to two cups of ghee. At this point, you want to just keep turning your cream of wheat. And I like my parsat kind of brown. In fact, very brown, but I'm not going to do that today because it may not be appealing for this video. But I actually like it really nice and brown. So I'm going to try to get it to that color that I like or just before that color that I actually like. And then I'll show you the next step. Now, if you don't like your person that way and you like it a little bit more white, then you don't have to wait for it to get really brown. Okay? <laughs> And don't just leave your pot unattended because this can burn very easy. So you want to make sure and keep turning it. At this point, my sugar actually has already dissolved. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a few of my spices to my sugar syrup. To my pug, I'm going to add just a couple of whole cloves, some chata whole cloves. Next, I'm going to add some chatak whole elaichi. I love elaichi, okay guys? If you don't like the taste of elaichi, you could omit some of it. But I love elaichi. I'm also going to add elaichi to my cream of wheat as well. So I love elaichi and you will see me adding a lot of elaichi. But if you don't like that, if you think it's too overpowering, then you can leave out some of the elaichi. Minimize your measurements. But as I said, I love, 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 love the flavor of elaichi. And shut up, elaichi is really delish. I'm going to add a little bit of shut up cinnamon powder to my pod. If you have whole cinnamon, you can use that. I don't have any right now, but this is just fine for me. Mm, it's 
smells so good, you guys. So my cream of wheat is almost where I want it to be. I still want it to get a little bit more brown. So meanwhile, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my milk to my pot. So this is two cups of uh, evaporated milk. Now I'm going to add my condensed milk. This is one tin of condensed milk. As I said guys, I love Elaichi, so if you don't like too much Elaichi, you, you can omit some. But I love the taste of Elaichi. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of chata brown ginger. Next, I'm going to add just a little pinch of clove, chata brown clove. Just a little pinch because remember we added some to the pack mixture. I love, love, love the taste of clove. So just a little goes a long way. So I am really happy with this color and I'm now going to add my pack to this. Now be careful when you're doing this. Remember this is very hot and your pag is very hot so if you need to get assistance to do this please do so very careful with this part okay my two so i can hold my pot be careful and i'm going to pour my syrup onto my cream of wheat and what we want to do is turn it really fast. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the syrup. So if, once I add my pad, I like it to cover my cream of wheat. So sometimes I don't actually use all of the pad. I just wait for my cream of wheat to absorb all that liquid because I like it light and fluffy. I don't like it too mushy. At this point, I'm going to turn my stove off. You can add your raisins. really fluffy or sad so delicious so today I actually made my parsad sort of sweet remember if you don't like your parsad too sweet or if you're diabetic you can reduce the amount of sugar that I actually put into this and you can reduce the amount of condensed milk I actually put into this you don't have to use so much it will taste just as good in fact if I was making this just for me alone I would reduce my sugar so because I'm making it for guests and I wanted to taste extra special and delicious I just added a little bit more sugar but you can reduce okay, guys so this concludes my video for today how to make parsad or prasad mahan bog whatever you choose to call this delicious dessert. I say parsad, most people in Trinidad say parsad. So yeah, so I'm gonna say parsad. I hope that you all enjoyed my parsad recipe. It 
is delicious is exactly how I like it and I hope that you like it as much as I do um, I would like to say a very special thank you to RSC with us supermarket Marabella for sponsoring well for gifting me all these really delicious uh, ingredients that I made this curry side with today thank you so much and guys thanks again for watching and thank you for joining me in my kitchen this is the first time that I actually invited you all into my little simple little kitchen and I it was really nice having you here so uh, have a happy Diwali and I hope that this recipe is as easy for you as it is for me.